they're pretty well cemented together. It's really an illusion. It jiggles, it's loose, but uh, it's pretty well stuck together still. The other day, we only had two hours to work and I started opening inwards here. And a lot of these started becoming pretty loose. And since we only had two hours to work, I just threw in another support here because we knew when we wouldn't be able to come back to till uh, the next day. Going up. So I threw this in until I could finish it today. And that's what I'll be doing. Taking out the rest of these. I don't think I have the patience to do this by hand all the way through since uh, Maria's not here I think I'm gonna cheat and use the electric tool <laughs> she wanted me to do it by hand just in case we disturb uh, the wall too much but it's taking too long I'm gonna go get the electric chisel be right back Much better. Did you explain to our friends what you're going to put there? Uh, not yet. Not yet? So I'll let you do. Wow. Oh, weird. Yeah. Okay. Let <laughs> you work then. <laughs> okay, so we're semi-done demounting the stones. And we're going to fit in, dry fit our header. And we bought a prefabricated header just to save us some hassle. Originally we bought some cinder blocks that had like a U in them and then you'd have to support them, prop them up and, and then put in a reinforced uh, concrete. But these ones, they're just directly one piece, prefabricated, I think fiber concrete. And then you just add your rebar inside and you fill it with concrete. A certain strength of concrete. So you already used one. So you're going to put two, right? Yes. Because the wall is 50 centimeters and you already dry fitted one. Yes. You show me? Sure. So it's going to be like that. Wow. Okay. Nice. This is a great job, Nathan. So Nathan, did you explain why we use cinder blocks? Because we had them already. <laughs> yeah, they're on site and it's... Hollow so, anyway. It's hollow. It saves you a whole bunch on uh, concrete. They actually reinforce concrete inside. They're the cinder blocks that have one side. They actually use these ones for making poles. Yes. For support poles. Yes. It's not going to stay like this. It's going to be all covered with stones and, you know, some makeup, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, with stone veneer. Kind of like... Something, we're gonna try to do something like the windows here. Yeah, that's what they kind of do. Or you just do like a stone veneer, like three centimeters thick. Yeah. So yeah, this, this pole right here, it's still supporting the other side because we just did half. A lot of the pros, they do one half 
and then the other half later, the other side, when I say half. So we did this side first, we're going to have it supported, and then we'll open up the other side. Yes. Just makes it less uh, risky for the wall to start crumbling. Is there thermal damage? Show me. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, right? So you can see here that they uh, scored it so they could uh, apply plaster to it because this was the bottom of the header, so it was the ceiling. And this. So you score it so that it sticks to it better. You scored them? Exactly that. To apply plaster on them? Mm-hmm. They were smart. You're with your good friend here. Yep, me and my buddy hanging out. So instead of hanging out, can you hang in there? <laughs> I didn't plan this, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so are you ready to place it? Ready. Wow. This is perfectly on the line. Just at the very end here, I need to prop it up a little bit, just a bit, okay. You have plenty of choice oh yeah, for no stones. No shortage of options. No shortage of stones. I'm very happy about that because we're going to need stones for the property. Yeah. We want to build um, stone walls around the property, so we're going to need stones. We already like stacked stones outside. It probably took us six months, Nathan, do you remember? Under the rain, under the wind, during the heat wave. We used the trailer to carry all the stones. I thought we were gonna die. There was probably like 100 trips of the, with the trailer to stack all the stones outside, do you remember? Oh, yeah. For someone, <laughs> like a few days ago, Come ask our neighbor, can they just give us those stones? I'm like, uh, it depends. Of course we can help with a few stones. Like, come on. Right. We broke our back storing yes. those. You guys did. I wasn't filming before, but oh, we really struggled in this house, right, Nathan? Oh, yeah. After doing the big openings, we had huge amounts of stones inside the house and we took everything outside by hand. It literally took six months. We were exhausted. That's why I'm being sarcastic about the person saying, just give me those stones. It looks perfectly leveled. Mm -hmm. Perfect, right? Yeah. So now what's next? You're pouring concrete inside? Next, I need to put the barrage. The uh, rebar. The rebars. I'm looking for small pieces of uh, cinder block to prop up the rebar from sitting on the bottom because you want it to be in the center of your concrete. I worked with my uh, tests earlier, my dry fit test. Oh, you did test it before?
we realized from our experience on the other side that when you open it's never enough. It's never enough. Because just have space to fit in the rebar and work put it, pouring in the concrete. It takes so much longer if you don't have enough space. So. Uh huh. So what am I about to do? You are about to break this pillar here? Yes. This is one of those you need to appease your wife projects. <laughs> oh, oh, Nathan, come on. Nathan is about to work on the second header, which is somewhere here. But I've been bothering him since we arrived with this thing that he no longer use is just like floating it doesn't support anything and it bothers me so i want to so i want you to remove it yeah. it doesn't support anything therefore it's not in the way yeah but it supports my anxiety like it bothers <laughs> me it's there like what for you know yeah well i mean nathan uh there is no pressure. You're lucky I like a demo. <laughs> Thank you, babe. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. Ooh la 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 la, Nathaniel, that looks very heavy. Yeah. Here. I think it's Morty Better. It's uh this is Morty Better Bastard Mortar. Uh-huh. Bastard mortar. Uh huh. It's mortar mixed with cement. Because uh, I just read that, but in masonry, to bastardize something means to add cement to it. So this is just a limestone mortar that they added cement to it, so it become mortier batter, bastard mortar. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. That's what we've been using for like our stones and stuff. So this bastard mortar, it provides the, <clears throat> the benefit of lime mortar, the breathability, combined with the strength of cement. So that's a big plus. Yes. And it comes in gray color and it comes also in a, a stone color. It's this thing. Mortier Gata. And this one is ton stone, Pierre. So this is awesome. Nathan, do you know what's sad today? Hmm. I did a beautiful brushing, I did a cute makeup, and I'm not even filming myself. Nathan, you put me dust all over my hair. <laughs> oh god, that's heavy. Nathan, yes. I may want to order dark windows. Yeah, I like dark windows. We didn't have we didn't have white windows in this house. Downstairs they're brown wood. Upstairs they were blue. I'll try to insert a picture so people can remember. But they were blue the windows here downstairs brown. But since we want to put like 
des grilles de défense, defense grills. I think with dark windows, that would totally blend in, right? What do you think? Then putting white windows and white grills on top. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. So... Yeah, if you put white windows, black iron is gonna stand out like a sore thumb. But we could put white grills. Yeah. Like paint them. Yeah. I think we're gonna order dark windows. We, yeah. we like the way... I'll try to insert a picture of how it is downtown Bordeaux. But there is like all this beautiful stone uh, building and they put dark windows and they totally blend um, in the decor. It's gorgeous. And I'll insert a picture to show you how it is in Bordeaux. It's actually a very beautiful city. <laughs> I'm a bit tired of it. I've lived in it plus 30 years. Less. You're not tired. <laughs> The house shook. Nathan and I binged to watch the show on Netflix and they had a Scottish accent. And I started to speak with a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your Ohioan accent? I used to have an American accent, huh? that's for sure. I still have it deep Ohioan. down. Oh yeah, I have an Ohioan accent. But now I have a, a Scottish accent. Really? Isn't it? <laughs> that was an interesting show actually on Netflix called um... Baby Reindeer. No, it's not called Baby Reindeer, Nathan. It's called Baby Reindeer. Why are we doing this? Separating the... But because some parts are stones that you're throwing here and some parts are mortar that you're throwing here, no? Exactly. So Nathan, minute of appreciation to see the opening you finally did? Yeah. Let's see. Wow, this is awesome. <gasps> this is not finished, obviously. You still need to stack stones inside. and <gasps> But this is awesome. And this is like sturdy reinforced concrete, right? Yep. And I love how Nathan started to stack stones here. And for the con <laughs> concrete geeks out there, we had a funny mishap. So the front of our slab in the front, the front of the house, let's see 25 concrete, but in the back, they made a mistake and they gave us C30 concrete for the price of C25. That was nice. Are you talking about downstairs? The kitchen. Oh, the slabs, okay. The slab in the kitchen, yeah. All right, but franchement, uh, frankly, I'm very happy. Like, really, really happy. Really, really happy, Nikki. <laughs> okay, I'm stuck. I need to move to Scotland now. Yeah. So we planned... We planned on keeping toilets here. Obviously, we're going to change these toilets. Um, we planned on having sinks here. And then the highest part, where the roof is pretty high, we're going to have the shower. We're gonna spare you the little details left, but this is approximately what the opening is going to look like. I mean, obviously we're gonna cover it with stones and make something cute. So here's the other side of the wall, the other header. I threw some metal rebar in, inside of there. So it'll be a nice reinforced concrete that goes inside this wall so it's going to be very stable and we're going to let that dry nathan what's next for this bedroom for us to be able to live here 
Insulation. Insulation. Roof and walls. Drywall. Drywall. Windows. Windows. Beams. We're changing the beams here, okay? Floor. Uh, flooring. Subfloor and floor. Subfloor and uh, floor, okay. So in these old houses, they used to use like two types of flooring. One for the subfloor and one for the final flooring. We'll show you how it's made, but this is pretty sturdy. Um, but yeah, we can't skip this. The reason we want to do this first, it seems trivial. Not trivial, it's a big project, but it seems like something we could do not urgently. But this is why it's urgent, because all, all the dust it creates. Yes. Look at this. All right. All right. Let's call it a day. Hit the road. This is. Cr I still can't believe it's fully open here. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Oh, and in your list, Nathan, you forgot something. What's that? The walls. This wall is going to be uh, appearing. So. Shoot, I forgot. Yeah. That's a lot of work here. Yeah. Obviously, I started to do all this part to remove all the joints, like you can tell. But I still need to be on my knees and do all this part. And then we need to do the top, fix the parts where there is no stones, blah, blah, blah. And this side is staying appearing because I want a beautiful stone wall in my bedroom. Right, Nathan? Absolutely. Ali, let's go home, let's say goodbye and see you next time. Bye everyone. Bye.